ones have coin in them. At last, the willful prince has ventured all the way up to the surface of the mortal realm. Yet still, he is encased within the earth itself. The gateway to the underworld. A threshold from which there is no escape. We'll see about that. No, not this. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for... On your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Sater problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone. My mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious Hound of Hell parks once, affirmatively, toward the Prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. That's quite a stash there, Charon. <sighs> This one, I guess. You. Crushed. I can't. Snake stone is that. must be fashioning those things. 
hear me on my authority. Here goes nothing. This can get me out of here. A moment's rest. tunnel. Maybe this way. Not poisoned at the moment, thanks.
do that. Need to keep looking down those passageways. Cerberus will love it. <coughs> Bit of an aftertaste. In the name of Hades. One satyr sack coming right up. Want something to eat, boy? Huh? Boy, I 
pick out your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. I owe you one, boy. I did it. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Um. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. No. You're going home, not me. I suppose that you must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand, then, why I wear the Helm of Darkness. me like this boy. Don't do that. Uh, no. 